What's going on? What's going on? It's been a while since I've done any posting here. Operation Dirt, video number 28. I don't even know if I posted the last video, 27. But uh, if I didn't, I'll have to get to that. But my last video, I was getting ready to um, do some painting on the front end. I was getting ready to do some painting so that I can start running my brake lines. I did order my brake lines and all the fittings that are needed for that. Everything is coming to mail. My copper nickel tubing, all my fittings, um, I stated, my, my stainless steel uh, braided lines, they came as well. Um, I just got a few other things that I'm waiting on to come, which is my um, stage lock. I wanna, I went ahead and ordered one of those from Jigs. Matter of fact, that's that's gonna be here today, actually. But I wanted to show you guys where I'm at. I said said before in video number 27, I had all the, the front end snatched out of it. I specified that I wasn't gonna snatch out the rear end, but I did end up snatching that out as well. So I did take the rear end out as well, because I, I really wanted to, to paint the bottom nicely. I wanted to spray it. I didn't want to use a brush to, to brush the paint on, because it would leave the, the brush marks. Not that anybody's going to be up under the bottom looking at it, but I'm going to be up under the bottom working on it. And if I look at it and I don't like the brush lines, I'll be like, why didn't I just spray it? So I purchased quite a few cans of uh, black. Actually, it's Rust-Oleum. Two times ultra cover. Has the primer along in the paint. And it is a satin canyon black finish. I think I end up buying something like I know I bought more than 13 cans, but I bought quite a few cans. And for the front end, I got the front end more or less. I actually got it all, all done, all painted. Front ends all painted. I even painted down inside the engine compartment. Now, the reason I painted down inside the engine compartment, I still, I'm going to have the engine bay the same color as the car, but I wanted to have a fresh coat of paint on. I wanted to cover that up as well. And so when the car is painted, and then when they move to the engine compartment, they shouldn't have to do no more than scuff it up, do whatever they gotta do to it to get it painted. But I went ahead and did that as well. The bottom, I did end up getting the bottom completed. I do have the bottom painted. It's all completed. So now, when I run my brake lines, all of that's taken care of. It's all painted. It's all completed. And so we'll we'll have a nice canvas to work with when we start running brake lines. I'm do I'm gonna do something a little bit different. With my brake lines, I'm going to run my brake lines down through the tunnel for the drive shaft. I will run my brake lines down through the tunnel of the drive shaft. Coming up through the tunnel, and I'll just come along, just come along right up in this area and come on up to the proportioning valve and the master cylinder and we'll go from there but I think it's gonna come out pretty good it, like I said this 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 painting was necessary I, I needed to get that done so now I can move on from there and see if I can't get these brake lines ran and get that taken care of so I can move on to the next operation I'll show you what kind of goodies we end up getting for our brake lines. Actually, 
What box is those in? Might be this one. I'm not exactly sure. I'm holding the camera so you don't see a lot of movement going on. Okay, yeah, this is it. Okay. Set this up here on the charger. See all those probably wonder every time they see the video, they probably wonder, what has he got up under that cover? Oh, that's that's that, that's temptation right there. I, I, I named this one temptation. This is my this is my this is my 15 charger. Some of probably wondering what what does he got up under that cover? I, I see his video and don't know what's under the cover. That's that's what's up under the cover. That's a 2015 Charger. I bought it about three years ago. And I don't drive it very often. Right now I think I may have, I think, 2,600 miles on it. Like I said, I don't drive it. It's, it's just something I picked up. I wasn't even car shopping. No, brother ain't got a whole lot of money just to go out buying cars either, but it was a deal that really couldn't let go by you know zero percent interest for the entire uh life of my purchasing it so every bill i pay on it goes directly toward the principal so that's a good thing but on back with the goodies this is the nickel copper line that i got to run my brake lines I will be using these stainless steel flexible hoses which will come from which will, oh, drop the glasses, which will come from this area to the calipers and same on the other side. And I will be doing the same thing for the back. But it would be a little bit different in the back. The back, normally people like to run, look at this. People like to run their, their lines onto the, the rear end. And I figured I was gonna do something a little bit different. I wasn't gonna run mine from the rear end. I'm gonna run mine, like I said, down through the tunnel and then they're going to come it's going to come right into the center of the body which I will then tee off with a T fitting and they will come I will have these coming from this area they'll be coming from this area down to the masters down to the calipers on the rear axle so they're not going to be coming off of the rear axle they'll be coming from up in this area here from my line the T fitting being somewhere in this area and then I'll run a brake line over here to here because I do have these these holes that are here I will use these or one of them for a brace to put a bracket so then I can run this part of it down from it and then down to the calipers so I'm gonna do something a little bit different if I need to remove the rear axle I won't have to worry about disconnecting the lines off of the rear end I'll just disconnect them at the calipers themselves but that also came and now you got to buy all these little fittings too. All this stuff, all this stuff don't come as a unit. This is a fitting. And then you have these 90 degree fittings on the other end. So none of this stuff comes as a complete unit. You have to do a little researching everything that you need before you start ordering. And we will be putting our proportioning valve to that as well as our new
strange master cylinder. And as I said earlier, I have I have my stage lock coming. It'll be here today. And I needed that before I could really hook any lines up because I want to hook that up as well. I'm not going to run lines. Then i got to cut into it later on. I'm glad it was brought to my attention that I had to have that as well. So I went ahead and ordered it. And it should be here today. I've been waiting on it for a while. And I had um, a couple more fittings that were, uh, they'll be here June, I think like June 5th, coming from Hong Kong or China or somewhere. So when they get here, we will go ahead and see if we can't get that finished up. But I needed to get the bottom of it painted. And now it's curing. It's, it's sat up. It's been painted for a few days now. It's curing. And when I get up under there and I start running lines, I shouldn't have to worry about paint chipping off or, or, or paint being tacky. It should be good and dry. So we'll come back at you and we'll show you where we're at with Operation Dart. And uh, we'll keep on moving. Oh, another thing I, I, I didn't mention. As far as the bottom, there's a few other things I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something different. And I haven't seen anybody else do it, but I'm going to do it because I'm different like that. But as far as my frame, frame rails and all that, and you know, some may, some may be like, why is he doing that? What? that I like that question. Why is he doing that? Because I can. <laughs> But I will be, my frame rails, my frame rails that are inside, all the frame rail that you see, all the frame rail, even the, the, the tunnel, that brace going across the tunnel, the bottom, when you look at the bars on the bottom that were added for strength, all those bars, all the frame that you see, all the frame, even the tank. I'm gonna paint that, not the tank, but the housing around the tank. I'm going to paint that as well. I'm gonna paint all that framing, the tank as well. I'm going to hammer that with a, a gray hammer paint. I will use I will use some hammer on that. I can't even find the can of hammer, but I know it's, it's in there somewhere. And I guess I'll probably show you in the next video the color of it. Because I don't see it, but I know it's in there. But then I already bring it out. Anyway, it goes. I'll show you to you later. You'll see it. And uh, hopefully I'll have it painted. It'll be done when I do show you next time as to uh, how the bottom looks. And um, uh, I should be able to have my brake lines on as well by the time I post another video. But this is video number 27, Operation Dart. Um, paint and prep. Paint and prep. I believe that's the title I'll give it. Paint and prep for brake lines. And uh, we'll leave it at that. We'll shut it off here and we'll come back at you with our new brake lines, fresh painting for the frame rails on the dart, and we'll go from there. I'll give you a once over what we're working with. Operation Dart. We're getting closer. We are getting so close, so close. Video number 28, Operation Dirt, peace out.